For those of you that have already been trying uh, this new system called Kahoot and you enjoy using in your classroom, I wanted to tell you about another system called Quizzes. Uh, it, it has a similar game-like feel to Kahoot, uh, except it allows uh, students or groups of students to work at their own pace instead of everybody having to work together uh, as an entire class. Uh, that can be beneficial for the students who, who want to work ahead and for other students who want to move more slowly and it can be beneficial for you because students can be working on their own while you're working on something else uh, you don't have to be participating actively like you do with Kahoot uh, for those of you who have not tried Kahoot Kahoot and quizzes are part of a movement called gamification where you uh, make a, a, a at least formative assessment into a sort of game and uh, let's take a look at some of the elements of what a game might be like here um, first of all I, I, the first thing I'm going to show you about quizzes and again similar to Kahoot is that there's already a bunch there, there's many many quizzes quizzes that are already made up uh, I have my own set that I've made I, I made these on my own and some of these I, I did copy partially from other teachers but some of them I just made from scratch but if I go to public I can look through many 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 quizzes that other teachers have made and I can steal from them or uh, let's use a more politically correct word I can I can uh, share and collaborate with them and uh, here, the first ones that are listed are featured. If I'm looking for something specific, like something on, uh, I don't know, World War II, uh, you know, I can go search for that, and then I'll, I'll find just those. But for now, I, I think I'm going to take a look at the ones that are, are considered to be the um, the featured ones, and I'm not sure why that is. Maybe maybe people like these, um, or they're, they're most often copied. And maybe we'll try Spanish Inquisition. So, uh, again, the first thing I want to show you is simply how you can use an existing quiz <clears throat> to play a game uh, that can help students uh, learn or review some knowledge in your classroom. So, first I'm going to go ahead and slide this over here, and, uh, and I'm going to pretend like this window and this window over here, these two windows, are two students in the class. And here I am, and again, I can display this on the projector. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and in this case we'll pretend like this is on the projector uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start the game I'm gonna go ahead and press play live now it gives me a bunch of choices and maybe I better let you see here here's the different choices that you have for configuring the quiz and to make this video quicker I'm not gonna go through all the options I just want to give you a feel for what it's like to be a kid playing the game uh, one interesting thing is that I can include memes and for those of you that don't don't know what memes are you should probably Google it and get a feel for what they are um, anyways let's go ahead and let's proceed with a game and see what you think so I'm gonna go ahead and press proceed and what that does is it makes it so that I, uh, I I can show the kids how to join and I can show them what their code is going to be so here they're sitting waiting they could be using their phones or they could use Chromebooks or iPads or, or whatever uh, they could even be on PCs in a computer lab so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the code for both of these guys and when I do they will ask for uh, student name so let's start off with one so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use Annarelli hopefully she won't mind and over uh, let's go ahead and say join the game what happens is over here is that oh uh, by the way hopefully you're hearing a little bit of the noise remember uh, the, 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 the sound and the graphics are all part of the game like environment uh, and, uh, and, and now over here if I see a name pop up that I don't like I can go ahead and click on it and it goes away so if students try to take advantage of the situation you can go ahead and X that out uh, I am going to go ahead and turn the sound off for a moment so that you can hear what I'm saying. Okay, at least turned it down a little bit. And let's go ahead and let's have this other student join. And we'll go ahead and join this game. And again, over here, uh, now I can see the other students' names and I can, I can say students need to usually what I say is you have to use your first name and last initial and if I don't recognize first name and last initial then I say goodbye to it and that's how I let students join the game okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get this game started now that all the students that I know of have joined oh again I don't usually have every individual in the class join usually I have a few kids sitting together join as one team and so they'll have the one student's name as their team name so let's go ahead and let's start.
So again, the individual students kind of start at their own pace. So there might be a little bit of lag. Uh, one student might actually be a little bit behind the other. And over here, me, what I get to see is I get to see a leaderboard. Now, if I had more students, there'd be more names and the leaderboard would be more interesting. And also, I can stretch this out and keep it on the projector and the leaderboard looks a little bit better. Let's go ahead and try to answer some questions. So here's what the student sees on their device. I'm going to go ahead and just press some buttons. I'm not trying to get a correct answer or trying to get an incorrect one. I just want to get something before the timer runs out. And then over here, it keeps track. And again, let me go ahead and show you. So you can go ahead and you can see here's one correct answer, here's one incorrect. And that's our leaderboard. And uh, let's see here, we've got, oh, uh, one of the things that happens is after you answer your question, uh, it comes up and it does a couple of things. Let's go ahead and see if I can get another result here. So here is an incorrect answer, and here is a correct answer. These things that come up are called memes. And the meme sort of makes it more fun to be told if you get something correct, it, it's, it's a little more fun. And hopefully we make something that's not too discouraging that tells you if you're wrong. And then after that, after you go, if you move on, you can see what your rank is in the game based on how you answered your questions and how other students did. Up here you can see timers. You don't have to have timed questions. You can turn that off in the settings. Um, uh, I use the timers if I want the kids to, to be a bit more competitive and give the game a bit more energy. But uh, if, I, if I want the kids to really focus on accuracy, I will just turn those timers off before I start the quiz and this will not even be an issue. And then over here, let's go ahead and take a look at the leaderboard. Uh, at the leaderboard, um, if again, no matter what, I'd like to see more green here and less red. Um, some of the kids are striving to get all the questions answered quickly, but I always tell the kids, I want to see more green. I want to see you're getting correct answers. So let's see what we can do here. Up, oh, the timer's just about out, so let's get some answers in here. And those were both wrong. Maybe we can go ahead and maybe we'll try to get a couple correct answers in here so we can see a little bit more green on the leaderboard. Let's go ahead and take a look. So uh, maybe this guy, there we go, there's a correct one, so more green should show up here, and then you get the correct meme, and then you get a higher ranking. And over here, let's try this one. So we get the green, so we should see more green on the leaderboard here. And again, we, we get the, the ranking. All right, so that was most of what I wanted to show you. Now there's a couple last things. Normally I would let the kids answer all the questions. Here we're at question 6 out of 20 uh, before I end the game. Uh, but I'm going to end it prematurely, so let's hit end, and I'll say OK. And when I do, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just answer these last couple questions. We'll let the kids finish. You can see now they can see it's game over, and the same is true over here. What happens is when the, kid, when the game ends, the kids get to see all the questions that they answered, and they can see which ones they got right with the green and which ones they got wrong with the red. And, and you can let them see the correct answer, but you don't have to. You can configure the quizzes so that it shows the correct answer or show, so it does not show the correct answer. And this way the kids can go back through and review before, uh, even, even after the quiz is over. This is great if some of the students, uh, let, me, let me pause the music for just a sec. All right, it turns out I had to, uh, I had to end, I had to, to for, the kid, for the students, I had to back out and say I was done with the quiz in order to get the music to go away. So uh, what was I trying to say? Uh, that, uh, that, the, that if some kids finish early, they can still go back and review uh, their, the questions that they missed uh, while they're waiting for the other teams to finish. So I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to quizzes to show you what it's all about. If you haven't seen gamification in the classroom before, then I hope this is a good introduction for you. Uh, and if you have seen gamification in the form of Kahoot, I'm hopeful that you'll find that quizzes uh, might be an interesting alternative, uh, you know, to, to, to accomplish other goals, like not having the entire class work together at the same time. Uh, it, well, there is a lot more to quizzes. The way that you develop your quiz in quizzes is uh, a little bit easier than Kahoot, and it's a little more flexible. In, instead of just copying other people's Kahoots, uh, with quizzes you can pull questions from other people's quizzes.
So uh, anyways, I, I, that, I, I could make a whole other video on how to create a quizzes, but for now, I'm going to stop right here. Um, again, if you have any feedback for me, uh, please go to my webpage, thinkatorium.com. You can find it through the school's website, uh, and uh, I have a section for teachers. Here is where I have links to all the videos that I've created for you. And, uh, and if you want to give me feedback, uh, go ahead and click this link and let me know what you thought of the video and if you'd like to know more. That's about it.